everyone, this is Mrs. Richard. Today we're going to be learning about a new process called factor by grouping. You're going to want to pay close attention because once you understand the pattern, you will be just fine. But it might take a little bit of time and practice, so make sure you are listening closely. We're going to go through three examples of the whole process in this video, and if you need some extra practice, there's going to be a second video that will give you three more examples. So we know that x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to x plus 2 times x plus 3. We know this, and we can prove this, by typing both into Desmos and showing that the graphs are the same. So if we type them into Desmos, they lie directly on top of each other, or you can see that they're the exact same graph. The red and the blue lines will overlap. We can also multiply it out, which you've already learned. x times x is x squared x times 3 is 3x, 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 3 is 6. If we combine like terms, we know that 3x plus 2x is 5x, so we do get the same thing. These are both quadratic functions because they have an x squared when they are multiplied out. The one on the left is called standard form. The one on the right is called factored form. But how did I know to write it like this? We're going to use a process, like I said, called factor by grouping to figure out how I knew x plus 3 times x plus 2 was equivalent to my original without graphing. Here's a couple of steps. We're going to confirm that it is in standard form. In Algebra 2, there might be some more steps, but we're going to keep it pretty basic right now. You're going to do head times butt, adds to get the gut, factor by grouping, and check your answer using Desmos. We're going to be doing this, um, and you're going to understand what I mean by head times butt adds to get the gut as we go forward. So here is our problem, x squared plus 5x plus 6. This is in standard form, and I checked that. The next thing I'm going to do is head times butt. This, we have the first number times the last number if it's in standard form. So in front of this x squared, we have the 1. We say 1 times 6 is 6. That's head times butt. If we list the factors of 6, I know to get a positive 6, I can have a plus times a plus or a minus times a minus. So if I start listing the factors of 6, I have 1 times 6 and 2 times 3. I want to add to get the gut. The gut, the middle, is a plus 5x. So in order to get a positive 5 by adding, I know that 1 plus 6 is 7, so that can't work, but 2 plus 3 is 5. So that is going to be my choice. We're going to start factor by grouping. We start out with three terms. I am going to take this middle term, 5x, and separate it out into two different terms, 2x and 3x. I have not changed my problem. I have just taken 5x and made it 2x plus 3x. They're equivalent. It doesn't matter if you do 2x plus 3x or 3x plus 2x. You will end up getting the same thing. Then we're going to put parentheses and separate the four terms into two groups of two. I'm going to kind of divide it in, down the center. I'm going to say, what can I pull out of x squared and 2x? Well, they both share an x. That's what we're factoring out, the greatest common factor. Now, if I pull out an x, what's left over is x plus 2, because x times x is x squared, x times 2 is 2x. If I look at the second set, 3x plus 6, they both share a 3, and what's left over is x plus 2. You will always end up with the same thing in parentheses as the other parentheses if you do it correctly. So, we're going to notice that x plus 2s are the same. So I can say x plus 2 is one of my factors, and then x plus 3 is my other. This would be the factored form. And we can always check by graphing, so I'd plug in the first equation and the last equation into Desmos and make sure those U-shaped parabolas overlap. Looking at another one, we have x squared plus 3x minus 10. If I double check that this is in standard form, it is x squared plus 3x minus 10. I have something x squared plus something x plus a constant. That's standard form. Head times butt. Well, there's a 1 in front of that x squared. So 
So head times butt, we have 1 times negative 10. Notice the sign comes with it. 1 times negative 10 is negative 10. So I know to get a negative number when you multiply, I need a positive times a negative. So if I list my factors of 10, I have 1 times 10 and 2 times 5. I need to add to get the gut, which is the positive 3x. Well, I need to somehow figure out how to add to get the gut. 1 and 10 will never give me 3. But 5 and negative 2, 5 minus 2 is 3, and 5 times a negative 2 is negative 10. That is the choice that I'm going to select. When we factor by grouping, we start by breaking up the middle term. This 3x can be written as negative 2x plus 5x, or 5x minus 2x, it doesn't matter. Grouping those four terms into two sets of two and dividing them in half, for my first set, x squared and negative 2x share an x. And what's left over is x minus 2, because x times x is x squared, and x times negative 2 is negative 2x. If we look at 5x minus 10, they both share a 5. What's left over should be and is x minus 2 because these have to match. 5 times x is 5x, 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. Notice how the x minus 2s are the same, so we can pull that factor out. What's left over is x plus 5. Finally, we can check our factored form that actually matches our standard form, and we could do that in Desmos. We're going to look at another one, 6x squared plus 17x plus 5. If you notice, this is in standard form, so we are ready to move on. If we do head times butt, instead of a 1, I have 6 times 5, which is 30. Then, I know that to get a positive number, I can make a plus times a plus or a minus times a minus. If I list the factors of 30, 1 times 30, 2 times 15, 3 times 10, and 5 times 6, I'm looking for a combination that adds to get the gut, which is 17. So if I look at these, 15 and 2 give me a 17 if you add them together, and a positive 15 times a positive 2 is 30. If I start factor by grouping and breaking the middle term up, I can break 17x into 2x plus 15x, or vice versa, 15x plus 2x. Grouping them, I have 6x squared plus 2x. If I take out a 2x, they both share a 2x, I'm left with 3x plus 1. If you take out a 2x from a 2x, you still have 1. You don't have 0. 2x times 3x is 6x squared. 2x times 1 is 2x. Then, if I take out a 5, because 15x and 5 share a 5, I'm left over with 3x plus 1, because 5 times 3x is 15x, and 5 times 1 is 5. These both have a 3x plus 1, so I can pull that out, and I'm left over with that 2x plus 5. If you check your answer in Desmos, you will see that the factored form does match the standard form. They lie on top of each other. If you need more examples, go ahead and continue to the next video.